Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science mode exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I have time warped a little bit to accumulate some science from the science lab in order to get the convertron and drills and such. But I had misread, I thought this was supposed to require all the stuff and it was just field science, but actually if it required field science I would have to unlock these things too. And it actually does not require field science, it requires any so I can unlock it now. And so we have that. And in fact, we have the gravioli detector. So we're, or negative gravioli detector. Uh, so we could probably get a whole bunch of extra science just with that. But since I do have more science than I was initially planning, let me see what other things we should get. I think the main thing was the heat shield, since I would like to use the Mark 1 3 pod and use that heat shield for it. So I think I'll get that. The fuel cell would have probably been a smart move, but I'll get heavier rocketry now. So we have those. Okay, well anyway, let's send an ISRU unit to Minmus. We currently have a Drez scanner on its way to Drez, and that's still on its way. But we'll do some Minmus ISRU stuff first. Okay, so my first ISRU lander is going to be a little bit weird. I do realize that we need to send a engineer because that'll improve efficiency and I probably ought to include some radiators. Uh, however, I don't know if we have, ra oh, we do have radiators. Okay, so let's do some radiators as well. And I'm gonna put them like that. Though, I don't know how well that arrangement will dissipate the heat. That's pretty heavy. No, they're, they're very light. Okay, I thought they were heavier than that. but. The drill sure is heavy, which is why I'm only putting one. And I'm counterbalancing it with this Convertron 125. Uh, ideally, you wouldn't want to carry the Convertron with you, and in future editions, I probably won't. But I want to be able to convert the ore directly into fuel and then carry it up in this case instead of carrying up the pure ore. Uh, and you know, that's why we have a fairly large tank, which we really don't need that much for Minmus. But different ISRU landers may be configured differently. Uh, we might also have a mobile ISRU lander on big wheels once we actually get big wheels. We don't have big wheels yet. So some of this is because we don't have the better parts. Uh, but I also wanted to see how this would work out. And there's a lot of fine tuning here. For instance, you note the cabin is actually offset from the center of mass because I needed I wanted the drill not to be floating and rather to attach it so to the back of the cabin so the lander can so yeah that's why it's offset like that but otherwise this is the same mass as the convertitron it's 1.25 tons obnoxious as that is it's just ridiculous that it should weigh that much but here we are and we are going to deal with it. So, we've got Terrier under there. That should be plenty for Minmus. We've got lots of Delta V. We'll make the transfer with this, of course, as well. And maybe I'll edit the fairing just a little bit. Okay, but we just need to get this to orbit. Larger ones will occur, especially once we have larger tanks. Well, yep, yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and use a mainsail on this. Maybe that's overkill. This should be fine. But I'm definitely going to use a mainsail. We just unlocked it. It must be used. And I'll put some fins because of the big fairing. And then claps. Our only engineer is Bill. It's about time we used Bill. Bill has not been deployed so far. Maybe I should put a controller on as well. The hex is available now. It was a few more things to work with and I need actual power. I mean, we've got the big solar panels here. The RCS is sort of blowing at them. I would resize the solar panels, but I can't because I don't have tweak scale here. But we can pack some battery. So yeah, engineers increase the efficiency of the drills and maybe the converters, I forget. So hopefully that'll be the case. 
Okay, here we go. SAS on, throttle up, and launch. Going through the clouds, past the speed of sound. We do have a little bit too much delta V here. But not too much too much. Not so I feel guilty about dumping the stage prior to orbit. Okay, I don't want to go too much higher. Uh, so we'll dump 139, that's not too bad. Fairings. Stage Terrier, go. All right, but we'll coast. Probably, given the containment of fuel available here, the efficiency that Bill brings doesn't make up for the increase in dry mass of the lander can. Possibly, uh, we would need a much larger vehicle to really take advantage of Bill's eventual skills, but eventual skills, because Bill doesn't have any stars. Now our pot-bellied lander here. It's got a big belly. A big belly and a backpack. Okay, that'll be fine. We have made orbit. Minus. I'll just do a mid-course correction. The initial approach, we don't have to match up with the station. We don't even have to be going the same way around as the station, but uh, maybe it'd be better to... And go. Alright, there we go. 44 meters per second. Onward. Probably should have just put science on this, especially the gravioli. Forgot about that. Uh oh, it is a little bit imbalanced. Ah, uh, okay, okay, all right. We're just gonna take that. Going over. The decision not to put additional comm devices was deliberate, I just didn't. I understood we would lose communication without the Kerbal, though. Alright, capturing. Alright, and where is the ore? Not in the flats. <laughs> well, I want to just flatten out our orbit a little bit. This isn't the ideal location, but it's a location. Okay, so given that... At least over here it doesn't look too bumpy, so let's try for there. Got. 284 liquid fuel. I want to know how much it actually takes to do this. We're basically beginning in an orbit similar to the station's orbit. And I'm gonna do it this sharp descent way, which is not particularly efficient. Alright, so we'll land there. It looks a little bit bumpy, but it is Minmus, so it should be fine. I'm gonna even waste some more fuel. I think I'd like it over there more. I guess this spot's okay. I don't see anything wrong with it. Sort of a pimple on the landscape, but... Don't know if I should enable the collidable rocks. Probably not for the parallax. So it doesn't take a whole lot of liquid fuel or oxidizer. We can deliver a bunch to the station. Okay. Nice and gentle. Okay, and no tipping, please. Right. Well, let's see if we get some more. Start service harvester. Ore is coming in. Oh, 
Well, let's start converting. Liquid fuel and oxidizer. 25% load. And it's actually taking the ore. It's not very efficient. The small one isn't very efficient. But since presumably we've got no limit to how much we can get, we can just go ahead. Let's see how long it takes to top it off. This tank. Uh oh, the overheating stuff. We've got radiators though. Uh, this is where the fuel cell is better. Uh, they can't do anything at night. Well, at that point, the Kerbal would die in Realism Overhaul, but here, not so much. Okay, but it didn't reactivate. Okay, we have full tanks and a full load of ore. Given that, how much does it take to actually get to the station? Okay, well, let's just stop everything. Set station one as our target. And... Go. We can lift off, that's important. We should have probably waited until it's a little bit closer. Oh well. Very good, one kilometer. Relative speed, minor. And we'll be going into daylight. We're not in daylight right now, but we'll be going into it. Okay, this time I'll dock to the nose docking port. Hmm, wantonly using the mob propellant this time. It's not letting me right click to the. Ah, there we go. Okay, well, the lights sure illuminate approaching vessels. At least coming to this docking port, they do. Okay, and dot. All right. Well, uh, let's convert. Uh, we ought to have a better converter on here, but let's uh, convert the remaining ore that we carried up. Okay, and we will send. Well, we can into the tanks, but we need some to go back down. And I'll keep 200 liquid fuel. Let's say 180 liquid fuel and 220 oxidizer. Because that's easy to remember. That's one of the ratios of the tanks. So, something about that. I think that'll be enough to go back down and drill for more. Or it could be wrong and it'd be a complete disaster. But. We have delivered some fuel to the station. Not that tank. That tank. So, that is a success, but I of course want to have a larger ISRU lander, and for that we'll need a larger parts, I, I think, a broader tank. Because I don't want a taller tank, because it's cumbersome. I want like the 5 meter parts, ideally. So, we'll wait on that. For now, let's uh, wait for our Drez, land, uh, Drez probe to reach Drez and get the signs from that. It's a long wait, but it's not like I have some need to do things quickly. I think we might have just lost communication with it. But maybe it'll be okay once we get to Drez? We were relying on the combinability of antennae. Uh, definitely doesn't seem to have a line back at Ampoapsis. Kerman's over there, too. I don't think this is going to work out. Yeah. Kerman's all the way out there. Well, let's take a look at it. Yep, no comms, no probe control. 
Well, fine. With the gravioli detector, we now have a better way of getting a whole bunch of science, though. I'd like to see exactly where it gets comms for future reference. So, I'm gonna do that. Let's see how far the four antennae actually stretch here. Because I, I think it's pretty close. We did pass through res SOI. Just didn't do anything about that. Well, I can't even get rid of the node. Nah, it wasn't particularly close, I don't think. Oh, now it's got a line. So really, only if Kerbin and Drez are on the same side. I tried. I thought I had summed it up, but then again, it depends on how the antennae actually combine. So, well, it's it's around here. Uh, in theory, we could try again, but then again, Kerbin will probably have no communication. So I'm just gonna leave it be for now. Back to Space Center. I've decided that what we need immediately is a Gravioli exploitation device. Basically, I'm just going to launch the Gravioli detector and we are going to get as much science as possible from it. I think maybe I need a few more batteries, I'm not sure. Not that many. I think... Maybe 400 electric charge will do. I think that counterbalances the hex, uh, not the hex, the solar panel on the opposite side. But I have decided to use seven sparks and called this Sparky. Now this might be to my detriment because we haven't unlocked the small nose cones which I would normally put on top of the Oscar B fuel tanks and we don't have those so I have to deal with the fact that we're going to get a lot of drag potentially from the open nodes on the top there. Uh, but We'll see if it works. So, this is Sparky. It's a l very little rocket. And let's see if it can get a whole bunch of Gravioli science. Okay, throttle up and go. Okay, those sparks, they really light things up. Fins might have been a good idea too. The sparks don't have a huge amount of gimbal. But the fins would have been really big, too. Oh, I'm turning way too fast. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. Fine. I was turning way too fast and then compensated badly. We are past the speed of sound. Oh, yeah, the drag is definitely hurting us. It was looking pretty good until just right there when the flame effects started. Oh, we're really going high, too. Oh, well, that'll give us enough time to use the ant. Oh, I should have done the gravioli earlier, even. Well, that's 11.1, uh, 11.2 science here. Let's try and transmit. Uh, well, it's gonna take a chunk. It might be just enough power. Yeah, just enough power. Now I think it's biome dependent. Yeah, it's surface biome dependent. Okay, that's enough of that. Maybe we can just transfer to the moon with it? But we haven't exploited all of Kerbin's biomes yet. Well, it says start burn now if I want to go to the moon, so I think I'll just go to the moon. Grasslands. Well, I have to wait for the charge though. Okay, transmit. Alright, let us see. We do want to make orbit around the moon and then go over to Minmus. Uh, well, inclined is not a bad thing necessarily. Transferring afterwards might be a more of a problem, not a big problem. 
got 1,169. That's not not bad at all. We've got full power. That should be good enough to do the high over curve in science. High over curve in shores, in fact. Oh no. Uh, wait, is it too much? No, it's okay. I was worried it would be more for the other ones. Well, Shores is very particular, so it's probably something else now. Yeah, Highlands. In fact, even Highlands is per pretty particular. Ah, but still Highlands. Grasslands. High over grasslands. Water. High over water. Okay, moon time. High over the moon. Lots of biomes. We're not going to get all of them. I have no idea because I don't have any quality of life mods in here. Only visual mods. I'm not going to remember which ones I've done. <laughs> it's got to be how it is. It's the stock way. Uh, or maybe it, the stock has have a science tracker these days. Forget. It's a maneuver tool. They have that. They have that inventory thing. But I don't think they have a science tracker, right? Well, good thing I put on the extra batteries. I just remembered it was a fair amount of power. Didn't remember exactly how much. Islands. Well, that's it for high over, I think. Okay, retro. And capture burn. But we can still do science here. Midlands. This was a quickie probe, but a lander would have been better even. But we should have more stuff on the lander. Me leaving one end higher up is not well, but that end is not going to be in comms with Kerbin anyway. But well, we sort of have re relays around the moon. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. Let's see. East Crater. Oh, there's not enough power. Oops. Okay, well we still have comms. Review data. East Crater. But since it's dark over here, we're not recharging, so... And then we lose comms. Islands. Are we just barely touching that crater? Okay, there's Lowlands. Well, I want to get this crater, but we can't transmit it yet. Pretty sure we've done this one. Yeah. Okay, I'm satisfied with the moon. Let's go to Minmus. Okay, Minmus Periapsis is there. Uh, I'm not going to get too much better without doing some adjustments, so I'll take that for 192. Just getting to Mimis nice and cleanly. But we'll have comms when I try to do that. Good question. <laughs> um, yeah, because we kept the, this part of the orbit high. Okay, and go. Okay, with an accuracy of point 0.1, we, uh, well, we get something. It, I don't know if it's happy with this or not, or whether that's even the next orbit. I don't think it is this next orbit. Okay, this one. Okay, I over minimum stuff, and, oh, we've still got the display on, but let's get close to Minmus. I didn't do that part. That should be close enough, maybe a little bit more. All right. Science. Slopes. Lesser flats. 
This looks like something better than Lowlands, maybe? Midlands! Alright. But I think it was close to the Midlands. And Capture Burn. Lowlands, lower the Lowlands. Oh, probably too early. Maybe just enough with the solar panel recharging it. Eek. Okay, got it. Oh, oh well, I, I overburned while watching that. No, we weren't trying to land on Minmus. Wait, we probably could, but... Let me try for the flats here. Great flats, yep. Oh, shoot. Not enough power. This time, definitely. Okay, we got greater flats. Greater flats high over. Alright, lesser flats. And how's comms over here? We should be able to do a direct line back, but right now we're communicating through the scanner. But that's fine, let's just land here. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't intending a landing, but shoot. Landings are good, right? Especially since this is a biome where we've already planted a flag in and gotten some signs in, so... What's really missing is the gravioli. Okay, we popped a little bit. It's actually balancing with its tiny little reaction wheel. Okay, we have landed, log gravity data, 56, we're going to transmit. And it is done, balancing proudly on its end. So, as Chatterer makes that sound to indicate the transmission, I'll wrap it up here and say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.